So this is the first shirt that I've ever made. I started sewing in uh, December, that's three months ago. And what you can see here in the back is my sewing station at the moment. I will make another video maybe soon uh, where I go into more details of what I what equipment I use and whatnot. But in this video I want to talk about this shirt and why I started sewing. So let's come back to the usual view, which is this one. So yeah, as you, you can see the, the studio here is uh, changeable. So give me one second, I will put on the shirt so you can see it in action. Yeah, so I have to zoom out a little bit to be able to present you the shirt. So what you can see here firstly is that it's asymmetrical. So this side is a little bit longer than this side. Um, I made this change myself because I like asymmetrical things and uh, I, I really like that. Um, I have some problems, which you can see here in the shoulder, exactly here. I think I didn't sew it that well together, how it's meant to be. And I think size-wise it's pretty much a very good fit. but. When you look at the details, and I want to talk about that in this video as well, of course, because um, yeah, details are important and it was a little bit difficult. Like for example, what you can see here. See? Um, didn't cut off the threads uh, yet, but um, this part was very tricky because I didn't know how I would need to fold it. Uh, so it d does look like a proper what, what's this called uh, this it's not a collar I don't, I'm not actually sure <laughs> how this is called in English um, but yeah this was a very difficult part and it's not that cleanly sewn together but I think for a first try yeah it's wearable I, I don't think that uh, somebody who looks at it would say okay this is not cleanly cleanly made um, then for the color, uh, I made a mistake. <laughs> Actually, on the outside, it should look like here on the inside. Like, how could I show you properly? It's, um, I, I accidentally switched up the sides. <laughs> this should be the inside and uh, yeah, I, I made it the other way around. Which are mistakes that happen. An even worse mistake is that the buttons are on the wrong side of the shirt. They should have been on the right side. And I even made that mistake. But what I want to say in this video is why did I start to sew? Because first of all, everybody gets inspired by certain styles on Instagram and I forgot to put on to make me look cool glasses. Everybody gets inspired um, by certain styles on Instagram, me as well. And the styles that I found on Instagram, I, I've never seen them in real stores here where, where, where I live in Frankfurt, in Germany. And therefore there was a certain need for me to learn how to make my own clothing and that was very important to me so i invested in two sewing machines which together were around 2400 euros it was a pretty yeah like it, it was an investment um and one that's that wasn't so sure because uh yeah i i i didn't know if i would be able to learn sewing and if I would be able to learn sewing in the quality uh, that I could wear the clothing afterwards. But when I look at the shirt, this is maybe maybe the most complicated project that I've done till today I'm thinking about, but probably yes. I think this is pretty wearable. I think it looks good on camera and 
Um, yeah, price-wise for the clo uh, cloth, this is 100% wool. I paid like maybe for one and a half meters, like 15 to 18 euros, something like that. I would never get a quality like this for that kind of price, probably in the store. It's a pretty thick wool. I think it's very nice and um, I, I really like it. So therefore, um, yeah, I needed to start to learn to sew. I started with little projects that were available on YouTube and pretty quickly I've seen that that wasn't 100% what I was looking for because on YouTube there are a few YouTubers who show how to sew for men but mo most, most of them are naturally women who show how to do clothing for women. So I've got myself some books and I'm actually in the process of learning myself to make pattern designs so I can design my own clothing like this is a base shirt that I got from a book but I've adjusted some things to make it fit better to yeah to be more unique in the way that I like and I think that everyone should have some creative side to them everybody should do something creative Maybe for some it's doing YouTube videos, for others it's uh, play, playing a music instrument like a piano over here. Others are sewing, others are painting, others are writing. Um, could be whatever, others are taking pictures, wh whatever. But I think everyone should have a creative side to them. So something where they can yeah, express themselves, have a good time, have fun learn something new, um, get away from the maybe 9 to 5 job, um, have some kind of a creative retreat where they can retreat to when they need to. So this is like sewing for me is some, something like a meditation where I can concentrate myself for some hours um, at a time and I even get a usable product in the end, which is this shirt, for example, that I can wear in my day-to-day -day life, which is great. I love it. So therefore, the question for you is, are you sewing? Are you, what are you doing? What, what is your creative side? Are you doing something creative? Because the thought process was um, inspired by my job with, with, with which is a dating coach. And I think every man needs to have a creative side that the woman can fall in love to. So what is your creative side? Do you have one? What, what are you doing creatively? Because many men told me like, yeah, Marco, yeah, but you do, do all of these things um, just to get women, blah, blah, blah. Like you play the piano, um, you're an author, you do YouTube. <laughs> like right now I'm, I'm sewing... Um, what else am I doing? I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. It doesn't come to my mind right now. But anyway, men told me like, you do all these things so a woman can fall in love with you. I can't because I have a job. I have this, I have that, obligations, whatever. But that's simply not true because everybody does the things that he chooses to do. So what are you choosing to do in your life? What are the things, the hobbies, your interests that you choose in your life that some other, that some people can fall in love to? Like women, like men, if you're a woman and watching this, what are the creative things where you can express your inner self, <laughs> like in a dark shirt, <laughs> that you do? What is it? So please write it into the comments. And if you like the video, um, yeah, subscribe and hit the bell, of course. So thank you for watching and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.